today I feel totally drained. It started yesterday. Um, it's almost a full moon. It will be the fullest moon of the year 2022 when it's the closest to the Earth. And maybe you don't know, uh, or you do know, the moon is a satellite. It's, e it's not even organic. It's placed in the universe to control us. And uh, I think, um, yeah, maybe that's uh, a bit of my, uh, the feeling I have. Uh. There were a couple of things. <laughs> The last thing that happened last night, I saw this video this guy posted in my Telegram group. He made about me uh, saying that I'm, uh, yeah, like the controlled opposition or the uh, even worse stuff. He just made it up and uh, uh, the low vibrational beings, the trolls, you know what I mean. And uh, every time that happens, I, I know that I'm on the good. <laughs> side of uh, the story but still um, yeah when you're not in your most strongest feeling it it, it hurts you uh, and then my girl she will turn seven on Friday we were planning her birthday party and then everybody cancelled all the all the children for this Friday we were going to have a pool party but a lot of the parents uh, or they were going on a holiday or they don't want to get the child to go swimming or yeah different reasons so she was crying and yeah she was looking forward to having a birthday party so that's not uh, happening and then uh, yeah I have this uh, event coming this weekend and I'm not sure if I yeah can manage to co to come because I'm doing a lot of volunteer work <laughs> for two years already for uh, the as a journalist and an activist for the world um, getting the news out uh, then for the summer carnival I did volunteer work and yeah now this festival it seems like we have to uh, yeah pay for everything ourselves or maybe not but at least the, the travel expenses and the food and the drink and the staying over the weekend and it's too much I don't have it anymore it's um, I have to uh, yeah restart my business again um, which I thought I had but yeah things aren't working really <laughs> it's not floating <sighs> so I feel a bit lost and um, I will be okay but not today <laughs> normally when I feel like this I go to sleep but I just woke up <laughs> so I'm not tired and I, I woke up three times this night universe help me with my abundance and with all the yeah I know I have to be the energy myself but I'm not feeling it today so maybe some food yes I already feel better <laughs> I had some uh, thing to eat um, if you want to know two kiwis <laughs> four passion fruit and uh, a nice uh, roasted sandwich with cheese, uh, a cup of coffee with my oat milk and then I called my uh, sister for some cosmic guidance and uh, that helped me. A lot of people uh, are tested these days and um, yes, I'm going full speed for my event, The Great Cosmic Show. As you can see, here's the web page. It's the DNA activation event. and. Yes, I got the feeling, if I have the feeling, this will be uh, a success for me. Not only that people will really love it and like it, but that I can make some money as well to pay my rent, to pay my food, my gas and everything. So maybe just a, a Starsheet Oracle card to go with uh, this new energy I have. And 
Alles im Reine. <laughs> nice spray. If you feel like you need some fresh energy, use this. Already, already used my full moon spray as well. Let go! Everything I cannot control. Please show me the way. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Defenselessness. Writing past wrong. Uprooting. Let me see what's that all about. I'm sorry. I forgive myself. Yes. I love you. How are you being called to drop your defenses and unwind, unwind past wrongs? We're living in devices times when we are hurt and triggered. We tend to see the things as a personal attack. Hmm, that's a, a good run. Rather than an opportunity for healing. If we were to find true peace and unity, we need to drop our defenses and see things outside or of right and wrong. As souls, we interestly intrins. Kelly, remember unity and yearning from here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite. Yes, that's true. That's so true. But it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality. Not. <laughs> and pretend that unity, love and forgiveness are here. This is one of the greatest challenges for star seeds. Yes, it is. To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in which both we and the world have been devised. Personally, ancestrally and collectively. The shadows, hate, wounds, separation, serving, wrongs and sadness. You may be called to explore how you, your ancestors and your society have consciously or unconsciously inflicted pain on others. Oh, to find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people. To say I'm sorry with an open heart and mean it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I mean it. I'm sorry, Eva, that you um, uh, felt attacked. And I'm sorry um, for not uh, truly believing yourself. I think that it is. Yeah, I didn't believe in myself enough. So sorry for that, Eva. Yeah, you may be called to devote your time in courses you believe in or do healing work on your ancestral line. Mm. Nice. So, 12 o'clock, I have to do a Zoom meeting with my cosmic team. I'm really uh, curious what uh, will happen. I'll keep you posted. Food. Food makes me feel good. Mm. Mm. Lasagna. And wine. Mm. Made some uh, drastic uh, decisions today. Not going to the festival. My whole body was screaming, no, <laughs> don't do it. I have to take care of myself and um, I'm always thinking about the collective and the the team um, but now I make I have to make decisions for me and that's hard sometimes but it's important so I just saw this video of Lori Ladd <laughs> and she talk, talked talked uh, this powerful 150 minute message I will share it with you don't make decisions immediately if you want to say yes to something because it feels right just think and feel about it feel it in your whole body and come back later because uh, we've been in uh, pause star uh, the the yeah like two two years doing nothing the most of the people and now all possibilities are opening you want to say yes to everything but don't do that um, and there's this um, opportunity for me coming now and um, for me it's not a full yes and that's also a sign that it's maybe not for me mm. so there I have my answer already that I don't, don't have to do it it's in Portugal 
it's nice but it's not a full yes so tell me how do you know if it's something a full yes for you for you and if you didn't have a full yes and you still did it and then at the end there were problems or maybe yeah it wasn't floating or you know what I mean tell me about that hmm and I want to be honest truly honest to myself so um, everybody has a perception of the other person and um, yeah let's change the perception <laughs> how do you see me I want to know Dudes be like, what are you? And I'd be like, I'm a multidimensional, extraterrestrial, ancient goddess witch bitch who will eat your soul. And they'll be like, what? And I'd be like, huh?